The Jack Benny Program, presented by America's largest selling cigarette, Lucky Strike. $60. Lucky Strike, first again with tobacco men. First again with the men who really know tobacco. The independent auctioneers, buyers, and warehousemen. Yes, a recent impartial survey shows that more independent tobacco experts smoke Lucky Strike regularly than the next two leading brands combined. So let this overwhelming smoking preference of the experts lead you to real deep-down smoking enjoyment. Just light up a Lucky, and puff by puff, you'll see... L-S-M-F-T! L-S-M-F-T! Lucky Strike means fine tobacco. And this fine Lucky Strike tobacco means a world of smoking enjoyment for you. Yes, puff by puff, pack by pack. You'll like Lucky Strike. The Lucky Strike program starring Jack Benny with Mary Livingston, Phil Harris, Rochester, Dennis Day, and yours truly, Don Wilson. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, last Thursday was Thanksgiving, so let's uh, go back and show you how Jack Benny and his gang spent the day. Our scene opens in Jack's home in Beverly Hills. Night and day, I am the one. Thanksgiving comes and goes, but I'm never done. Rochester. I'm working all the time. I'm nothing but a one-man assembly line. <laughs> night and day. Rochester. Day and night. Al Jolson. <laughs> I gotta be on one knee. I'm scrubbing the floor. Rochester, you've been singing all day today. Well, I'm happy, boss. Here it is Thanksgiving, and I could have been born a turkey. Oh, you wouldn't like that, huh? No, I couldn't stand being in the oven all undressed and people peeping in at me every few minutes. <laughs> oh. And when you ain't got no head, you can't tell them to close the door. I know, I know. Say, Rochester, I'm going to Miss Livingston's house for a Thanksgiving party, so will you help me get dressed? Okay, but if I were you, I'd change my mind about wearing that old tuxedo. Why? What'd you do to it? Oh, it's nothing I did, boss, but when I went to get it, the closet was full of moths. Moths? Oh, my goodness, were they eating my tuxedo? Eating it? They didn't even look up when I came in. <laughs> well, maybe it won't show. What part were they eating? Well, to put it geographically, the South ain't solid anymore. <laughs> no, stop being silly. Every time I want to get dressed, you all... I'll get it. Mr. Benny's residence, star of stage, screen, and radio. Hello, Rochester. Christmas cards printed to your specifications. Rochester. We'll sit with babies, mow your lawn, cater to private parties, and we'll give violin recitals at birthdays, weddings, and meat market openings. <laughs> Rochester, this is Miss Livingston. I've heard all that before. I know, but we got four parties on this line, and their business is as good as anybody's. Oh, well, look, Rochester. Mr. Benny isn't printing Christmas cards, sitting with a baby, mowing a lawn, or giving a recital at a birthday wedding or meat market opening. Let me talk to him. Yes, ma'am. It's for you, boss. It's Miss Livingston. Oh. Hello, Mary. Hello, Jack. The whole gang is here. When are you coming over? Pretty soon. And, Mary, I got a surprise for you. I'm going to dress formal. Formal? But, Jack, that tuxedo of yours is so old, it's green. Oh, Mary, my tuxedo isn't green. Well, okay, wear it, but stay away from the salad bowl. You may get stabbed with a fork. <laughs> oh, stop. Well, Jack, the reason I called you is I've been so busy getting the dinner ready for you and the gang, I forgot to get some candy. Will you bring some? Oh, sure, Mary. I'll stop at the drugstore and get some lifesavers. <laughs> lifesavers? I want a box of chocolate-covered mints. They don't cost much. No, no, the mints alone don't, Mary, but... You're going to the expense of the entire dinner. Why should you spend more? <laughs> After all, you're doing enough. Jack, I meant for you to buy the candy. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh. Well, Mary, why didn't you come right out and say so? Of course I'll bring it. Goodbye. Goodbye. Well, of all the cheap. What'd you say, Mary? This is Mrs. Stewart on your party line. Oh, hello, Mrs. Stewart. Don't hello me and you can cancel my order for Christmas cards. <laughs> but Mrs. Stewart... And that goes for me, too. What? This is Mr. Stevens on your other party line. But Mr. Stevens... And I'll get someone else to sit with my baby. 
Mrs. Allman, please. What are your prices? <laughs> what? I'm new in this neighborhood. Oh. Well, I have a regular price list. Yeah, you get it tomorrow. I mailed it this morning. Rochester, get off the extension. <laughs> I wish there weren't so many people on my party line. They all listened in the other day when I was talking to my agency, Bat and Barton, Durston and Osborne. <laughs> I'll get it, Rochester. I wish I were all alone on my telephone. There was no one else but me. Hello, Mr. Benny. <laughs> well, well, hello, Mr. Kitzel. What brings you here? I was passing by and I stopped to wish you a happy Thanksgiving. Oh, well, that's nice of you. Come on in. Thank you. Wait till I tie this leash. Oh, you've got your dog with you? No, my turkey. I'm taking him out for a walk. <laughs> Mr. Kitzel, you're taking a turkey for a walk? Mm -hmm, a long walk. <laughs> Why? By the time we get home, she'll be so glad to lay down, the rest will be easy. <laughs> oh. Well, tell me. Well, tell me, Mr. Kitzel, are you, uh, are you going to have much company at your Thanksgiving dinner? My wife's relatives. Oh, just your wife's relatives, huh? Just. Hoo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> you should have so many listeners. <laughs> Oh, gee. Gee, Mr. Kissel, how, how many are going to be there? Well, there's going to be my wife's mother and father, her sister Claudette, her three brothers, one of her aunts, two of her nephews, and a distant cousin from Cucamonga. Say, your wife really has a big family. Yeah. Well, I got to be running along. Oh, but first, Mr. Benny, I got to tell you how much I enjoyed your radio program last week. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, my. <laughs> you, you, <laughs> you, you liked it, huh? Yeah, I liked it. Oh, such a trouble you had when you was calling your agency Bat and Barton, Bagel and Blintzess. <laughs> no, 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 Mr. Kitzel. See, my agency is Bat and Barton, Durston and Osborne. Well, leave and learn. Yeah. And guess. Well, huh? Yes, Fun, and yeah. guess. Well, goodbye, Mr. Benny. I got to be going. Goodbye, Mr. Kitzel. It was nice seeing you. The feeling is natural. <laughs> imagine, imagine taking a turkey for a walk. Oh, my goodness, look what time it is. Rochester, help me get dressed now. I'm late for Miss Livingston's party. Gee, I'll bet the whole gang is there having a wonderful time. I didn't come here to criticize. I'm not here to sympathize. But don't tell me those no good lies. Cause the lion gal I do despise. She's got baked ribs and butter beans, ham hocks and turnip greens. You and me in New Orleans. And that's what I like about the South. Well, how is that, Livy? You better sing another chorus. The turkey isn't dead yet. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, I wish Jack would get here. Hey, Phil, that was a swell idea, bringing your whole band over here to Mary's house. Yeah, wasn't it? Phil, I don't mind your band being here, but your boys have a lot of nerve putting one of my best dishes on the piano for an ashtray. That ain't no ashtray. That's for tips. <laughs> What a gang. Say, uh, Mary, can I eat now? I've got to leave in half an hour. Uh, why, where are you going, Don? To my sister's house for dinner. <laughs> oh, for heaven's sake. Hey, Livy, hand me a bottle opener. My boys are hungry. <laughs> Never mind that. We'll eat in a few minutes. I hope so. I've been here since 6.30 this morning. 6.30 this morning? Why, Dennis, how come you got here so early? Oh, my mother had to deliver the milk anyway, so I thought I'd ride over with her. <laughs> over on the milk truck? Oh, I rode over on the cow. Her customers like it fresh. <laughs> hey! Wait a minute, kid. Do you mean your mother comes right up to the door and milks the cow herself? Yeah, my mother's the best milker in the country. She is? Sure. She can squirt right through the hole of a donut at 20 paces. <laughs> 
Yesterday she turned the cow upside down and hit the O in Honest John. <laughs> oh, stop being so silly. Hey, fellas, let's have some more music. Come on, Charlie, hit it. Oh, hey, wait a minute, Phil. Can I play the drums? Sure, go ahead, Donsey. Beat it out. Don, get up. You're sitting on my orchestra. <laughs> now, fellas, don't break up the house. I've got to go out in the kitchen and see how my maid is doing. I can't give you anything but love, baby. That's it. Oh, uh, Pauline, as soon as Mr. Benny gets here, we'll have dinner. Yes, ma'am. And remember my instructions. Yes, Miss Livingston. I must serve everybody from the left. Everybody except Don Wilson. How do I serve Mr. Wilson? From both sides, it jumped back fast. <laughs> now, let me see. Um, what else do hey, I... Hey, Levy, I just thought of something. Oh, just a minute, Phil. I'm talking to my maid. Well, get a load of them legs. Phil. I'm looking at the turkey. <laughs> oh, Anyway, Libby, when the food's all ready, let me know. I'll help you serve it. Oh, thanks, Phil, but it won't be necessary. I've hired a butler for the day. Okay. I'd like to see that turkey in a bathing suit. Phil! <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> oh, gosh, Miss Livingston. I'm just crazy about that man. Phil Harris? Yeah. He's got so much more than Gregory, and he doesn't fight it. <laughs> <laughs> well, now I've heard everything. And the door buzzer, too. I'll get it, Pauline. I can't give you anything but love, baby. That's the only thing. Oh, hello, Jack. What took you so long? Well, I had to stop for the candy. Here you are, Mary. Thanks. Is everybody here? Sure. Uh, Jack, they're in the living room. Let's go in. <laughs> Jack, you did wear that old tuxedo, didn't you? Oh, it's not so old. Hey, hiya, fellas. Hello, Phil. Well, if it ain't the Green Hornet. <laughs> All right, all right. Hello, Jack. Hiya, Don. Hello, Dennis. Hello, Mr. Benny. I've been here since 6.30. That's nice. <laughs> Say, Mary. <laughs> hey, Mary. You know, I noticed something peculiar as I came over here. You know that white line that goes down the middle of the street? Yeah. Well, it goes up over the curb, across your sidewalk, and right up to your door. The white line? Holy smoke, my mother's cow must have a loose gasket. <laughs> A loose what? Uh, I'll explain it to you later. Hey, Jackson, I brought my whole band over here. They're in the other room. Yeah, the sportsman's quartet came, too. Well, this is really going to be a party. Oh, darn it, I forgot my violin. I'll go back and get it. Jackson, you take one step to that door, and I'll hit you so hard your two pails spin like a Spike Jones record. <laughs> okay, okay, if you don't want any entertainment. Oh, we'll have entertainment. Say, Dennis, it'll be a little while before we eat, so how about a song? Yeah, come on, Dennis, how about it, huh? Sure, sure, go ahead, kid. About, yeah, go ahead, kid. It's about time somebody asked me. I've been here since 6.30. <laughs> now, come on, Dennis. Go ahead and sing your song. I'll get it, Mary. Hold the song till I come back, will you, kid? Yeah, da dee da dum da dee da dum ba bum ba beetle doo Yes? How do you do? <laughs> is this Miss Livingston's residence? Yes, yes, it is. Well, Miss Livingston is expecting me for Thanksgiving dinner. Oh, oh, well, come right in. You got here just in time, you know, the fun's starting. How nice. Uh, here, uh, here, let me take your hat. Thank you. Your coat? Thank you. Now, follow me. Hey, kids! Oh, pardon me, I, I didn't introduce myself. I'm Jack Benny. Uh, how do you do? I'm the new butler. Hey, kid! <laughs> what? <laughs> You're the, the butler? Yes. Are you the downstairs man? <laughs> I happen to be a guest here. Well, you could have fooled me. <laughs> If you're the butler, the kitchen, the kitchen is right through that door. Thank you. Hmm. That guy. Jack, who was at the door? Nobody. Well, whose coat and hat are you carrying? <laughs> oh, darn it's your butler's. He just came in. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well. <laughs> I know how to keep help. Go ahead and sing, Dennis. Come on. I'm sending you a big bouquet of roses One for every time you broke my heart 
nothing left to do So I'm sending you a big bouquet of roses One for every time you broke my heart I begged you to be different But you'll always be untrue I'm tired of forgiving Now there's nothing left to do So I'm sending you A big bouquet of roses One for every time You brought my That was swell. Hey, fellas, fellas, everybody in the dining room. Dinner's on the table. It's about time. I've been here since 6.30. <laughs> oh, quiet. Hey, kid, look at it. Let's all march in. You know, conga line. Okay. Da-da-da-da-da, boom. Da-da-da-da-da, boom. Da-da-da-da-da, boom. <laughs> Don, if you can't control it, don't swing it. <laughs> Say. Oh, Jack, you and your ideas. Now, come on in, fellas. The dinner will get cold. Okay, let's go. Jack, we're short of chairs. Bring in the piano. All please. right, I'll be with you in a minute. Hey, what's this dish on top of the piano? <laughs> well. Hey, Jackson, get your hands out of there. That's for the boys. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Jack! She see from the other room. <laughs> well, here I come with a piano bunch. Uh, listen, where did piano bench? <laughs> Although the other way would be good too. Here I come with the piano bunch. <laughs> Just as good one way or the other. <laughs> where, uh. Oh, really, what's the difference if I say, here I come with a piano bench, or here I come with a piano bunch? It doesn't make any difference. <laughs> hey, where, um. Uh... Where, where do you want me to sit, Mary? Uh, right here. Your name's on the place card. Well, place cards and everything. How did Phil know where to sit? He can't read. Uh, I put his picture on the plate. Oh. That's your fault, Bunch. You got people thinking I can't read. <laughs> oh, yeah? Let me see you write your name. Don't change the subject. I'm talking about reading. I thought so. Oh, Ernest. Ernest. I wonder what's keeping that butler. I don't know why you hired that smart Alec butler anyway. I'll get him. Hey, Ernest! Yes, sir? Ernest, we're ready to... Ernest, why'd you come in here barefooted? Where are your shoes? Uh, don't you remember? I handed them to you when I came in. <laughs> what? I used to work in a winery. Stop with the joke! <laughs> now, look, just, just bring in the food. You'll That's have it. to wait. The turkey won't be ready for a few minutes yet. Well, kids, it looks like we have to wait a while. Yeah, Dennis, how about singing another song? Say, Jack, Phil's band is here in the Sportsman's Quartet, and they've got a swell arrangement of an old square dance number. A square dance number? Say, I haven't heard one of those in a long time. Well, what do you want me to sing? Sit down, kid. <laughs> Thanks, I've been here since 6.30. <laughs> what? I would have been here earlier, but the cow didn't have her bag packed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now, look. Now, let's all... Let's all get around the piano and do the square dance. Look, at, I'll grab a violin from one of the boys. Hey, Larry, let me have your violin. Here you are, Jackson. Thanks. Now, how about it, Don? Okay, let's go, fellas. Turkey in the straw. Okay, wait for me now. Wait for me. Okay. Take your 
hard to find a hand, cause we're going to Alabama with the left hand for a naked berry. Grab that we circle to the left, then we circle to the right. Now we ask you, isn't that a pretty sight? Light up a lucky, give it a try. Come on, a lucky, you will see why. A lucky strike is bird strike, and the expert fires at the back. The turkey's on the table. Okay, okay. Come on in, kids. Come on. Gee, that turkey looks good. Uh, Jack, will you do the carving? Sure, I love to carve. Give me that knife. Mary, what do you want? White meat or dark meat? Uh, white meat, please. How about you, Dennis? Oh, I'll have a drumstick. Okay. Don, what would you like? White meat, dark meat, a leg or a wing? Yes, thank you, with gravy. <laughs> You know, Don, if you were twins, I'd have a good slogan for you. What is it? Guess which twin ate the pony. Ah, <laughs> oh, that was a dilly, wasn't it? Uh, Miss Livingston, shall I serve the hot biscuits now? Uh, yes, Ernest. Very well, madam. There. Ernest, don't throw the biscuits. Certainly not. Why don't you stand closer to the table? I've been watching these people eat, and I don't want to get any on me. <laughs> What? And that old man with the carving knife scares me to death. <laughs> now, wait a minute. I know your type. Those blue eyes aren't fooling me a bit. <laughs> Why do you hire it? Look, you're just mad because my tuxedo is better than yours. Why, you old... Yeah, all... Ernest, Ernest. <laughs> your job is to serve the food, not to antagonize the green hornet. I mean, the... <laughs> Yes, madam. Say, Mr. Benny, how about making a speech? Yeah, come on, go speech, ahead. Jack, on, speech. Let's yeah, go ahead, go ahead, Jack, say something. You know, this is the first time we've all had dinner together in a long time. Okay, I'll make a speech. <clears throat> <clears throat> well, kids, it's sure nice for all of us to be here on Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving, a day set aside where families can gather together in common bond and humbly give thanks in a spirit of brotherly love. Here, here. here. Thank you. <laughs> Yes, Thanksgiving. A day that was originally started by the Pilgrim Fathers. The Pilgrim Fathers. That stalwart, staunch group of men and women who left their native shore... Don, stop eating. And after months of suffering, had their hardship rewarded by safely landing at Cape Cod in the year of 1620. Yes, our Pilgrim Fathers... Jack. Our Pilgrim Fathers... Jack. What is it, Don? The Pilgrims didn't land at Cape Cod. They landed at Plymouth Rock. No, 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 Don. It was Cape Cod. Jack, any schoolboy knows it was Plymouth Rock. How can you say Cape Cod? Don, don't tell me anything about history. I went to school, too, and I say the Pilgrims landed at Cape Cod. They didn't land at Cape Cod. It was Plymouth Rock. Don, they landed at Cape Cod. And if you don't... Jack, put down that carving knife. <laughs> oh, pardon me. Beast. <laughs> Now, Don, Don, this is Thanksgiving, so let's not quarrel. You think it was Plymouth Rock, but I know it was Cape Cod. And you can take my word for it. I know what I'm talking about. Well, so do I. It was Plymouth Rock. It was Cape Cod. Oh, for heaven's sake, cut it out. Ernest, serve the dessert, will you please? I will if those two gentlemen will get off the table. <laughs> well, I will if he will. I'll have some more of the white meat. That's my leg. <laughs> I wish you told me sooner I put gravy on it. <laughs> Now, 
Don Wilson, I think it's awful for you to come here on Thanksgiving, accept Mary's hospitality, eat my lifesavers, and start a big <laughs> argument like this. I didn't start the argument. You did. And you can ask anybody, and they'll tell you the pilgrims landed on Plymouth Rock. I don't care who you ask. I still say they landed at Cape Cod. Jack, for goodness sake, finish the speech you started. I'll do it if everybody will shut up. Here, here. <laughs> I won't talk unless everybody is quiet. Now, I won't speak. <laughs> now, as I was saying, friend, <laughs> we're gathered here on Thanksgiving Day in a spirit of friendship, a word that in itself represents that binding tie between all people. Let's try, friends. Let's try to keep the feeling that is so prevalent on this day throughout the entire year. So whenever you feel discouraged, just think of the spirit of those pilgrims who sailed across the ocean deep and finally landed at Cape Cod. Jack, we'll be back in just a moment, but first... It is 61. A recent impartial survey covering all the southern tobacco markets reveals this important fact. More independent tobacco experts smoke Lucky Strike regularly than the next two leading brands combined. Yes, Lucky Strike. First again with tobacco men. But what does that mean to me? Simply this. These independent tobacco experts have had years of experience buying, selling, and handling tobacco. And it's important for you to know that more of these independent tobacco experts smoke Lucky Strike regularly than the next two leading brands combined. You've heard the survey results. Now, here's what Mr. James Monroe Bald, 33 years of tobacco auctioneer, who sold more than 400 million pounds of tobacco recently said. At market after market, I've seen the makers of Lucky Strike buy fine, ripe, mellow leaf. Good, rich tobacco that makes a swell smoke. I've smoked Lucky's 31 years. A Lucky Strike smoker for 31 years. And Mr. Ball, like you, looks to the cigarette he smokes for enjoyment. Real deep down smoking enjoyment. So light up a lucky yourself. Puff by puff, you'll see. L-S-M-F-T. L-S-M-F-T. Lucky Strike means fine tobacco. And this fine Lucky Strike tobacco means a world of smoking enjoyment for you. That's why you'll like Lucky Strike. Boss, it's pretty late. Why don't you go to bed? Wait a minute, Rochester. I'm looking something up in this history book. There it is. In the year of 1620, the pilgrims landed at Plymouth Rock. Hmm. Gee, it wasn't Cape Cod. It was Plymouth Rock. Don Wilson was right. Well, I hate to do this, but I guess I'll just have to call him up and fire him. <laughs> He's so smart, he can get another job. Ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned in for the Phil Harris Alice Faye Show, which follows immediately. And on Saturday nights, to be sure to hear A Day in the Life of Dennis Day and the Lucky Strike Hit Parade starring Frank Sinatra. This is NBC, the national broadcasting company.